So I'm go ahead. walking on. Let us proceed. Yeah, or you can cheat <laughs> yourself over there while the helmets go on, and you can swing the point of view this way yeah. as the helmets are going on, and then be ready Start to move. Let us back. proceed. Is move, move. Let us proceed. Is moving. Yeah. Entering is here. I'll go in first and get in there. No, you want to let me pass in. Well, that, okay. All right. Have you enough room? Yeah. Nice. You, yeah. Okay, so we we start with silence, and then you come in with the door. <laughs> yeah, and this, remember now, it's just after all this passion and stuff, and we want to indicate our gloves and things like that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> big, big. Okay, we're rolling. We're rolling! Good morning, doctors. Oh, are you busy? Oh, hello, Dr. Goodbody. Dr. Roach was just helping me adjust the airtile seat on my... We'll go again, we'll go again. Sorry. Air tile seat, okay. <laughs> so, looks like what I <laughs> Rolling. Rolling! Good morning, doctors. Oh, are you busy? Oh, hello, Dr. Goodbody. Dr. Roach was just helping me adjust the airtight seal on my rubber suit. <clears throat> just adjusting her suit. Oh, well, uh, yes. I'm sorry I'm late, Doctor. I was at my sunrise yoga class. Yes, your new age yoga. Yes, Celtic yoga. The interconnectedness of spirit, body, mind, and larger. You should try it sometime. No, thank you. Rubber gloves are good enough for me. Dr. Roach, may I remind you that the mummy is ready for probing? <laughs> <laughs> well, just say the word, doctors. I'm ready to assist with the examination. Good. Then let us proceed. Dr. Roach and I will put on our helmets and enter the chamber while you, Dr. Goodbody, stay here in the control room with Caesar and monitor the computers. As you wish, doctor. <laughs> Putting on helmet. Helmets on. My helmet is now on. My helmet is also now on. <laughs> then let us begin. Open the chamber door, Dr. Goodbody. Yes, Doctor. Opening the chamber door. <laughs> let us proceed. We are now entering the chamber. I also am entering the chamber. So, huh? tell me what's happening now. What's happening now is one of our actors has uh, disappeared and he's needed for the next scene. I think he thought he was finished, but he wasn't. So, and he's the mummy. Was he at mine this morning? Yes. And he's good. So. Well, we're trying to get him. See, I have him, him. I have him rampaging and hollering and howling, but it's all in that wet room up front. What do you need from him? Is it lions or? He revives or? when they dr stick the drill in his stomach and they start cutting him open. He comes back to life and starts screaming and roaring inside the chamber. Inside the chamber. With them. With them. And it's from the point of view of inside the chamber. Can anyone else do it? Like it's just vocal vocalizations. Any well, other? we could do that. Yeah. You could need, I'll you do could. that. Well, see, if I do that, then we're committed to that voice because it'll be stuck in with the actors. Other, the other option is that they act as if the mummy's there, and I use Kiron that we recorded yesterday. But he's howling and shouting, and we got a bunch of wild. But he has chains. You could do it, Roger. I think that's the best solution. Yeah. Because you know exactly what you want. Yeah. Yeah. And he doesn't actually say any words. So. Yeah. You're right, Mark. That's that's what I'll do. I'll be the mummy. Uh, we'll get the creek now, anyway. So. I heard it quite late. Like, I'm lost. He's I'm not in hungry. Cork, yeah. Yes. Did you harangue him? I hope there was some haranguing. Yeah. What level of haranguing? Well, not obscene level because I have to come back down here. But. 
Did you give us an example of the haranguing that you did? I hope it was oh, efficient haranguing. I'm not doing it here because everybody's waiting to record their stuff. See, if I had a PA someday in the big world, they'd be really good at the harangue. I would say harangue level two <laughs> or level three, and then and then it, it and then it was and then if it was so bad, harangue. I would say put me on the phone. This, this Ooh, is an ultra uh, for ultra harangue. And what would you do then? What I would just harangue be? I would just there'd be like a silence, one of those icy silences. What are you That's hearing on the phone now, Kieran? I'm hearing silence. That's how angry I am. <laughs> of course. Do you have the probe? The probe? Yes. The probe. Which probe, Fauna? Not now, Brendan. Oh. Nothing, Dr. Goodbody. Dr. Roach merely wished to know which probe to use. How about this one? Yes, the big drill. That will do. Let's remove a sample from his stomach and see what he had for his last meal. Zelda, help me! Oh, Larry. You're a fake, Zelda Kapowski. But I had no idea this man was the hair. Yeah, right. You can cut out the cheesy monster movie accent. The jig is up. Now come clean or shall we go to the cops? All right, all right. You know, it's quacks like you that give all the other quacks a bad name. You hold it, pal! You ain't going anywhere! <laughs> all right! All right, just let me go! Okay, okay. I can see there's been a little misunderstanding here. So, how about we give a 10% discount? 15? Forget it. Come on, Ma. Let's get the guards. Wait, wait. You must put an offering in the envelope so I can burn it for the spirits. What? You must be crazy. Oh, no, no. It's bad luck if you don't. And how else can we do the switch? What a pair you are. Complete chances. I should just... Whoa! Oh! What's happening? Zelda, I'm frightened! Nice try, Kapowski. But you can turn off that special effects machine. Yeah, you're not fooling anybody. But, but I'm not doing anything. I swear, it's not me. It's not me! Uh, Whoa! Make it stop! Uh, uh, this is genuine! Believe me! Whoa! Okay, you've convinced me. Now that we're all floating three feet off the ground. Okay, gas, when I come down, three, two, one. <gasps> hey, look at the crystal ball. There's a guy appearing in us. It's like that Aunt M bit from the Wizard of Oz. It's a spirit appearing from the other side. 